Good day, ladies and gentlemen. The Pope is wearing no clothes, and they're calling you crazy if you recognize this. I'm going to explain what I mean by this. So, recently, Pope Francis, he sent out a letter, or sent a letter, I should say, to Father James Martin, basically saying, good job, buddy, keep up the good work. Now, you're saying to yourself, Father James Martin seems like he's sort of an error. Maybe he's a heretic. He seems to be promoting the rainbow lifestyle. He gets more bold with that all the time. Doesn't the Pope know that the rainbow lifestyle is against the Catholic faith? These are all good questions to ask. So various Pope Splainer folks on the internet, um, both the respectable and uh, non-respectable ones, have come out swinging and saying, you know, how can you say that the Pope is promoting the rainbow ideology? You don't know that. How could you come to that conclusion, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'll give you an give you example here. Let's just say your dad sends a letter to the local drug dealer and he says, hey, Jimmy, keep up the good work. And this man is known for dealing drugs. What would you think about that? You would think that your dad was approving of selling drugs. Does this mean that your dad is technically telling people to go do drugs and sin against, you know, sobriety or whatever? Um, no, he hasn't technically said it. Um, but if you can walk and chew gum and you're smart enough to tie your shoes, you can read between the lines. Now, here's what's interesting, though. If I say it was wrong for the Pope to send that letter, I'm not actually judging the Pope. And here's why. What I'm saying is, is that the Pope, objectively speaking, sent a letter and that letter will have consequences. It will promote Catholics to embrace a sinful, heretical ideology. And the Pope's Splainer Magisterium comes out and says, whoa, 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 hold on a sec. You can't know the intentions of the Pope. You can't know what he actually meant by that. Sure, it was just imprudent. The, the lack of self-awareness from these people about what they say is astounding. Here's why. What is prudence? Prudence is a virtue. If you act virtuously, or if you act with prudence, you act virtuously. What is the opposite of a virtue? It's a vice. If you act without a virtue, or if you act in contradiction to a virtue, then you're acting with a vice. If you act viciously, what does that mean? It means you're acting sinfully. This is the ironic thing. If I say what Pope Francis wrote in that letter was scandalous and wrong, I'm not saying the Pope is a sinner. I'm saying, I mean, it's implied, but I'm not saying it. I'm not saying Pope Francis is a homo heretic. I'm not saying that. I'm saying the contents of that letter are scandalous to the Catholic faithful, and under no circumstances should James Martin be approved by the Pope, even just if implicitly. If somebody says, hold on there, you rad trad cowboy, the Pope was just acting imprudently. Ironically, by saying that, that person has just judged the Pope. Now, Christ tells us, um, judge not lest ye be judged. Christ is not telling us to not discriminate between good and bad things, good and bad actions. If we follow that through all the way and, and look at it uncritically, then if I say to my kids, you know, Junior and Juniorette, um, sure, you can go play with the family down the street that are known for giving crack to kids because who am I to judge? That's absurd. I'm not judging their souls. I don't know why they're doing crack. I don't know what damage they have. All I'm saying is that my kids can't go there because I've judged the situation and I'm not sending my kids to a crack den. Fair enough? There is no one who does crack down the road for me, by the way. If someone says, well, I'll give you another example. My dad sends a letter to the local drug dealer, as I said, and says, good job. If someone says, whoa, 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 whoa. Your dad didn't, wasn't actually teaching wrong things there. He just act imprudently. One person is judging objective externals, the contents of the letter. The other person is judging internals, which means they're judging the person. This is why, generally speaking, we can't accuse others of sin publicly. We can say, hey, if you just committed adultery, 
and that's what happened, the consequence of that is that you have committed a mortal sin. But this is why tabloids and even tabloid Catholicism is so wrong, is because they'll jump to all these conclusions and say, so-and-so is definitely guilty of that. And it's like, you can't do that. That's jumping to conclusions. But if I do report on something and say, so-and-so did X, Y, and Z, this is what X, Y, and Z looks like. I'm not judging the person. I'm not accusing the person of a sin. I'm just literally saying that person has done actions that are documented that look really bad. If somebody says, whoa, 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 the Pope hasn't written anything that's an error. The Pope just acted imprudently. What they're saying is that the Pope has sinned. They are judging the Pope. These men are judging the Pope, yet they will get, and these are gaslighters par excellence, probably because they themselves have been gaslit. These are the men that will tell you it is sinful to judge the Pope when you just point out externals, which is not a judgment, but really just an, an observation. And then in the next breath, we'll say the Pope just acted imprudently, which is to say the Pope sinned. Sin of omission, sin of commission. See, I'm a father of five children. My wife is pregnant with our sixth. Um, so please pray for her and for a healthy baby. And um, I have a modest income. I've got, you know, a bunch of kids. My wife's a stay-at-home mom. It's a grind sometimes. So I have to be smart with my money. I have to be prudent with my money and what I spend it on. If I go spend my money imprudently, I've actually committed a pretty grave sin because I'm in possession of the knowledge and the grace of state to be a father. I know that I have to spend my money in certain ways. And I know that if I spend it wrongly, that I actually harm my family. It's, a, it's gravely sinful for me to go be frivolous with my cash and buy, you know, a speedboat or something like that when we've really got to make a car payment. This is, I'm, you know, I don't have a speedboat, but I'm just saying. This is an analogy. And in fact, it would be right for you to assume that I actually know more about my finances than anybody. It would be right for you to assume that I know more about the consequences of my actions than anybody because it's my stuff. It's my kids. It's my family. It's my income. So if a friend of mine says to me, buddy, you just bought another big screen TV and you were complaining last month that you were going to not make the mortgage payment. Like, what are you doing? He's right to assume that I've sinned. And to be honest, I should confess that. And it's gravely sinful against my family. The Pope possesses grace of state. The Pope is not an idiot. The Pope is very smart. Pope Francis is, is, is very intelligent. Of course he is. You don't get to be a professed Jesuit. Whatever you think about the Jesuits, objectively speaking, to be a professed Jesuit is one of the most intellectually rigorous things anyone could ever do. The Pope is highly intelligent. The Pope. If I know what I'm doing as the father of a family, goodness gracious, do you think the Pope knows what he's doing? But here's the ironic part. I'm not even judging the Pope saying he's a big sinner. I'm just saying these are what all the externals say. But if somebody says the Pope has acted imprudently, they have de facto said the Pope has sinned. And they're publicly saying the Pope has sinned. Now, they're probably right. So I don't judge them for it. They're probably right. But I'm just trying to point out here that the hypocrisy of this whole thing knows no bounds. The hypocrisy of this thing knows no bounds. The Pope is wearing no clothes. You say the Pope is wearing no clothes. They say you're judging the Pope by saying that. And here's why the Pope's a sinner. Absurd. Absolutely absurd. As always, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think in the comments. This has been the Kennedy Report. Until next time, God bless.